What is up, Tampa Bay Buccaneers fans? It's your old friend IndyCar Tim here with your Tampa Bay Buccaneers Daily Blitz. Welcome into a Sunday. Welcome into Fanstream Sports. Welcome into the Blitz. Uh, it is Sunday, which means it is Falcons Post Game Edition. And for the second time in the month of October, we've got a disappointing Falcons Post Game Edition as the Bucks lose now twice in the same month to the Falcons to relinquish what was kind of a tie uh, atop the NFC South. But now it's the Falcons at five and three, the Bucks at four and four. Uh, so not only do the Falcons have a full one game lead on the Bucks, they have swept the Bucks in the season series. So now they own the tiebreaker. Um, if it should come to that, which it very well might, we know the Bucks are up against it here without Evans for a few weeks and without Godwin for the rest of the season, among some other injuries that they're dealing with. But they ran into what I thought was a very winnable game for them, especially you know at the half. You felt pretty good at the half. You felt okay through most of the third quarter, but uh, the Bucks made it made an epic what would have been an epic comeback attempt in the fourth quarter and it just was not to be as Kirk Cousins was too much through for 276 yards, four touchdowns uh, to help put the Falcons in sole possession of first place in the South on Sunday. Kyle Pitts scored on catches of 36 and 49 yards. Cousins also tossed TD passes of 30 yards to Darnell Mooney, seven yards to Bijan Robinson to complete the sweep of the, Division rival Bucks for the Falcons. Baker Mayfield did not his, have his best game today. Didn't have his worst. But because of the deficiencies that you were dealing with offensively and missing Evans and Godwin, you I felt like Baker needed to have a damn near perfect game uh, in order to complete this win. And he had anything but he threw for 330 yards and three touchdowns but he also and this is becoming like a broken rest sound like a broken record here because it seems like i say this every game after every every game a pair of costly interceptions the bucks had a chance to win it after driving to the atlanta 33 in the closing seconds mayfield's hell mary throw from the 38 was caught by rakeem jarrett behind the end zone as time expired the Falcons improved to 4-0 in the NFC South. The Bucks also lost 36-30 in overtime to Atlanta on October 3rd when Cousins threw for a career high 509 yards with four touchdowns. Mayfield, of course, was playing without receivers Godwin and Evans. We mentioned that. He did throw a couple of TD passes to Cade Otten on National Tight Ends Day. So congratulations to Cade, although he probably would have rather had the win. Uh, he That included a four-yard touchdown pass that trimmed uh, what was once a 14-point deficit to 31-26 with just under seven minutes remaining. The Falcons took the ball and with help from an 18-yard scramble by Kirk Cousins, I don't know how many times I've said that in his career, probably not very many, and a pair of fourth down conversions, they were able to hold the ball until Koo missed a 46-yard field goal with 101 left. And at this point, I'm thinking, man, come on, Baker. Here's your chance. You've got it. You can do it. You've got it in you. Time for redemption. <sighs> it just wasn't to be. Um, just, you know, just couldn't get it done. The game started very dubiously uh, with a Rashad White fumble on the second play of the game. And then Baker's first interception, I think, on the next series. Just digging themselves in a hole. Uh, shooting themselves in the foot, however you want to call it, whatever you want to say, they just could not overcome their own mistakes. And I feel like that's becoming a theme um, in for this team this season. And it really, there's, there's, it shouldn't be. Baker's better than that, or he should be at least. I know the offense is, is shorthanded, especially this week, but you've got enough guys that I felt like you had enough tools to beat the Falcons. Uh, Bucky Irving 
had an incredible game today. That should have been your your offensive focus, both running the ball and catching the ball. And for some reason, we just could not, they could not sustain that long enough. Uh, As far as injuries go, of course, more wide receiver injuries, right? Because, I mean, why not? Sterling Shepard left in the second quarter. He did return in the second half. It's still something to monitor for him. Levante David finished the game after leaving briefly in the fourth quarter, but he is dealing with an ankle. Next up for for the Falcons is the Dallas Cowboys. That'll be a win. And next up for the Bucks is the Chiefs on Monday Night Football. That will be a tall task. Um, that one could get ugly and out of hand very quickly. Or the Bucks could shock the world, much like the Cleveland Browns did on Sunday when they beat the Ravens. Maybe the Bucks will shock the world, and they'll be mad over this loss, second consecutive loss now to the Falcons, and they'll come back and shock the world next Monday night against the Chiefs. We can hope, right? We can always hope. That's what we'll game plan for, just to win. I don't know how, but they're going to win. Let's the call it right now. Uh, yes, appreciate you guys very much tuning in to Fan Stream Sports, Tampa Bay Buccaneers Daily Blitz. We'll come back and we will preview the Kansas City Chiefs for you this week. Appreciate y'all tuning in, and until next time, we'll see ya. Thank you.